We have a question from Mad, and I hope that's short for something and not a nickname. I like doing bent presses with the 53-pound bells, kettlebells. They're fun. I want to add them to my program and wanted to know if you have any suggestions on where they would fit in a program, how often I should do them, what is the benefit of doing them. That should have been question number one. And are they worth doing regularly in the first place regarding the cost to benefit ratio and everything? Yeah, I would say no. Uh, I teach the bent press. Uh, I like the exercises that lead up to the bent press. Uh, the bent press literally is a circus trick. It's a strong man exercise. And I know it made a brief comeback about a decade ago. Uh, I teach it in certs. But the thing, and I s explain this to my the candidates, the buildup to the bent press has lots of value. And I use the Turkish get-up position that we call the, uh, well, uh, depending on what, the kneeling windmill, the KW is what I call it, but I've heard other people have other names. So if the bell is in my right hand, that's when my left hand, my left knee, and my left foot are all in the straight line on the ground. My right foot is a, a 90 degree angle away. Um, and then I have the bell uh, vertical. And I like presses from that position. I like the elbow bend to the ground in that position. Um, in one of my videos, I go over this in some detail. Uh, in fact, I think it might be called the kneeling windmill video. Uh, I think there's great value to that. In the bent press itself, uh, I don't think there's a ton of value. No, I never have. And so it's, this is nothing new for me. I do want to say one thing, Mad, and I don't want to come off as cantankerous. I'm not. But when I get questions about the lunge, the heavy Turkish getup, uh, the bent press, uh, the, the burpee, a whole bunch of different exercises... I, wouldn't, I don't think I get grumpy, but what I get is like, why are you doing this when there's so many other exercises you could be doing that uh, the cost of benefit is higher? And that's the idea for me. Uh, if you're going to do them, I would say you would train uh, the kneeling windmills once, twice a week and the bent press once a week. Uh, I'm not sure you want to do it uh, much more. Uh, if you make an error uh, doing bent presses, um, I would deload as fast as you can and uh, reconsider why you were doing this in the first place. Uh, I'm sorry, Matt. I don't know how much that helped, but this is me being honest, which is something on the internet people don't seem to like. So I hope that helps.